Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Synology Active Backup for Business. I use this quite a bit for the small businesses that I manage, and it's a really great tool, and it's free if you have a Synology NAS. Active Backup for Business will back up your PCs and your Mac, and the Mac did just come out about a week ago. I don't have a Mac, so I won't be able to test this, but we could also back up physical servers file servers, and VMs. So in this video, we're gonna get Active Backup for Business set up on my Synology NAS, then we'll get the backup agent on this computer, also on my laptop. On my laptop, I'm gonna to totally erase it and then we'll do a recovery of the full image. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do so is to hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit my website at mactelecomnetworks.com. And I also do have affiliate links down in the description below. Now, not all models of Synology NAS allow you to have active backup for business. So I will leave a link to this website below and then you could check the applied models to see if yours does. The model that I'm using is the Synology DS 1621 XS Plus. So now let's go ahead and get into my Synology. Now we're on my Synology NAS dashboard and you can see a bunch of different applications that I already have downloaded. We have Hyper Backup, which I probably will do a video on, where I could push files to the C2 service or I could push it to another NAS. I'll also probably do another video on Active Backup for Google Workspace. That is great for backing up your emails. But to get Active Backup for business, we need to go over to the Package Center. From the package center, we could just search for active backup. It's gonna show me my installed packages, which I don't have active backup for business. We could see it under here. And this is the one you want with this check mark icon and the blue swirl. So we're gonna install that. Now active backup for business is downloaded. We could see the icon here. So we're gonna open it up. It says, welcome to active backup for business. To activate active backup for business for complete package functionality in the newest updates, your Synology account is required. Please click on activate to start the activation process. So we're gonna activate. It has this privacy statement. I'm gonna say I have read and agreed to the privacy statement and then press next. I was already signed into my Synology account. That's why it didn't ask me for my credentials. Typically it would ask you for the email and the address that you've signed up and then we'll press okay. Now with that activated, we could see a bunch of different things in Active Backup for Business. It's gonna show us our protected devices and they all say zero as I don't have any devices connected yet. We can see on the side, we have the Synology NAS, personal computer, physical server, file server, virtual machine, storage, restore status, activities, and then we have settings. I'm gonna click on personal computer. We'd see it says Windows, Mac OS, and then task list. I'm gonna add a device under Windows as that's what I'm running. Now it's telling us how to add a Windows device to the list. An agent is required on the Windows device you wish to protect, and it could either be 32-bit or 64-bit. After you log in, a task summary according to match template will be displayed. Once confirmed, the backup task as the summary depicted will be created. So we could do a backup task template are pre-configured in the settings, and we could install the agents at the download center. I'm not gonna create a template as it's only two computers, but I'm gonna go over to the download center. From the download center, we need to select our product. So my product is a NAS, and it's the DS1621XS+. Now there's a few things we see here. We see operating system, desktop utilities, and then packages. We want the desktop utilities. We're gonna scroll down and then we're gonna do the Synology Active Backup for Business Agent. Once we get this computer done, we're also gonna be installing the Synology Active Backup for Business Recovery Media Creator. And this will be to recover my laptop when I completely erase it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the business agent and we'll download that. We're gonna select a version. So we have Windows 32-bit, 64, and then we have Mac, we have Linux, and then we have another Linux. Mine is a Windows 64. We now have the Synology Active Backup for Business Agent set up. I'm just gonna press next. We're gonna accept the term license agreement, and then I'm gonna press install. Now we have the business agent installed on my computer. Now we need to enter the server address. So we could do that by IP or DNS. I'll do it with DNS, so it's Mac Telecom NAS.me. And then we need to put in our username and password. Once we have that information in, we need to press connect. And if you have two-factor authentication on, which you should, it will prompt you to put that in. Since I have two-factor authentication enabled, it says enter a six-digit verification code. I'm gonna do that and then press okay. The agent is now installed on my computer and you could see it here. The status is not backed up yet. I'm gonna back this up in a minute. But first, let's look at a couple things. So we could add another device and add another Windows machine or Mac OS. We could restore so we could do a file or folder or an entire device. And we could do more, which would update the agent 
on this physical machine. Now, if we go to our task list, we could look at the task that this will do. So I'm gonna press edit and we're gonna see the source type is the entire device. So it's gonna back up external hard drives if I had one connected. You would do system volume or you could do customized system volume. You'd set a schedule so it's running on weekdays at 3 a.m. I'm going to do this every day, so Saturday and Sunday as well. You could have it run every hour. I'm just going to let it do it at 3 a.m. And then you could set up a retention policy if you'd like. And this is going to take a little while, so I'll come back once it's done. While we're waiting for my desktop to back up, let's get the agent put on my laptop. So I've already downloaded it from the download center. We're going to press next. We're going to accept the terms and license. And then we're going to press install. I'm going to launch the wizard and these are the same steps. So I'm going to put my server address. I'm going to put my username, my password, and then my 2FA. And once we're done that, we should be able to see it in active backup for business, ready to be backed up. Now under my personal computers, we could see that my Mac telecom desktop is backing up. It's at 24%. And then we could see this other desktop, which is actually my laptop and it's not backed up yet. So let's get this one backed up as well. Now you can see under the protected devices that we have two, and this is for PC and Mac. I just have Windows machines. And then under this week, we could see if it was successful or not. We can see under Sunday, we have one that was a warning. I did cancel my backup for this computer because I was about to live stream and then I resumed it after that. But then on Monday, which is today, we do have successful backups. Now to show you how we could restore some files, I have this Synology NAS icon on my desktop. I'm gonna move it to the recycling bin and then I'm gonna empty the recycling bin. So it's completely gone from my computer now and the recycling bin. So we'll go back to my NAS and then we'll open up the active backup for business portal. Now under the active backup for business portal, we could see both of our different computers. So we have our tasks up top. This is right now on my desktop, but if we wanted to choose my laptop, we could, but that image was sitting on the desktop of this computer. And since we just deleted that image, we're gonna wanna go back one day. So we could see this task here and it has two different backups. I'm gonna click on it and then I'm gonna select 1910. We're gonna go into disk zero, then we're gonna to go to users and then Cody R. From Cody R, this is under my desktop. I'm gonna scroll down and it's called Synology PNG. I'm gonna right click on it and then I'm gonna press restore. Once we do that, it's gonna show us our target in the path that it's going to, and then I'll press okay, and that file should show up. Now going back to my desktop, we can see that Synology NAS picture is now there. So this is very easy to do if you do delete a file. Now let's say your computer completely gets wiped or gets hit by ransomware, we're gonna to have to recover this from a full backup. And what we need to do, we need to go back to the download center for Synology and then look for Synology Active Backup for Business Recovery Media Creator. We're going to want to download that and it will be a Windows zip or a Linux ISO. Once that's downloaded, I'll just extract it to my desktop and then we'll put a USB key into my computer. Now that we've downloaded it and extracted it, we could see the launch creator. I'm going to double click on this and it should pop up. Okay, so now it says get ready to restore your devices and we need to select a device. I'm going to use a USB media and then we'll press create. This will format the drive. If you have anything on it, you're going to want to move that over. Now we're on my laptop and you can see the applications that I have on the desktop of it. I have Discord, I have some Ubiquity stuff, I have some Grandstream stuff. But what we're going to do, we're going to factory default this PC so that nothing's on it. So I'm going to reset the PC. And we're going to say to remove everything. I'm going to do a local install for Windows. And then I'm going to press next. Now it's getting ready to reset the PC. Once it's back at a clean state, we will recover it with active backup for business. All right, now you can see that the laptop has been completely wiped and it's in a clean state. So what we need to do, we need to grab our USB key, plug it into the laptop and then restart the laptop. Once it's powering up, we need to press F2 to get into the boot. It won't show through the capture card, but I will point the laptop at the camera. We really just want to select the USB to boot to to get to our Synology recovery. So this may be a little difficult to see, but I am in my BIOS now and we're under the boot. We want to do the boot priority. When selecting the boot priority under boot option one, we need to switch that to our USB. I have my USB 3.0 selected as boot priority one. I'm gonna press exit and then we're gonna to go to save and exit and press enter. And then we'll press yes. So now this is gonna boot into our USB recovery and we should see it back on screen. It wouldn't let me capture it through the capture card yet, but this is what the recovery looks like. We need to put our server in our username, and then our password. Now we need to choose the backup that we wanna do, and it is the top one, so I'm gonna press enter on that. 
and it gives us a few options i'm going to want to do the entire device restore this restore is going to take a little bit of time but we'll be back once it's done all right and as you could see the recovery did work i have all my icons back on the desktop and every file that i had previously is on this computer so that was very easy to do. It took about 10 minutes to restore this laptop. Depending on the network connection, going back to your NAS, it may be a little quicker or a little slower. Currently, I only have a one gigabit link, but I am updating that to 10 gig. So as you can see, Active Backup for Business is a great tool to back up all of your computers, your servers, or your virtual machines, and it's relatively easy to set up. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.